Installation of the ramp control cartridge upgrade for Fox 36 forks requires the following tools. A shock pump, a six point chamferless 32 millimeter socket or a precision adjustable wrench, a 10 millimeter wrench, a 12 millimeter wrench, a seal pick, a flat screwdriver, a mallet, a ratchet with the following sockets, 13, 15 millimeter, an 11 millimeter deep socket, a torque wrench, a 6 millimeter hex wrench, and a 2 millimeter hex wrench, a Shimano spline cassette tool, 10 millimeter soft jaws. Additionally, we recommend that you have on hand safety glasses, replacement bath oil, and Loctite 262. Remove the blue air cap and release the air pressure. With a chamferless 6.32 millimeter socket, or very carefully with the precision adjustable wrench, unthread the spring side top cap assembly completely. Remove the entire assembly from the fork. Remove the rebound knob cover and use a two millimeter hex wrench to back out the set screw and remove the rebound knob. Using 10 millimeter and 15 millimeter sockets, remove the bottom nuts and crush washers of the fork. Hold the fork lowers just above horizontal to keep bath oil from escaping. To dislodge the shafts from the casting, use a mallet. We do not recommend that you strike the rebound adjustment stem directly. Rather, find a suitable socket or substitute to protect the rebound adjustment stem on the damper side. Remove the casting from the upper assembly being careful not to lose oil from inside of the casting. Using a pick and a flathead screwdriver, remove the spring retaining ring from the bottom inside of the spring side stanchion. Pull the air shaft to remove the spring assembly from the stanchion. Clamp the spring assembly in a vise using 10 millimeter soft jaws. Remove the piston bolt. Remove the transfer shaft bushing and seal as well. Apply Loctite to its threads. Do not allow any Loctite to contaminate the O-ring. Install the bolt. Torque the bolt to 50 inch pounds or 5.7 Newton meters. Turn the shaft around and remove the base stud from the bottom of the air shaft. Apply Loctite to the threads in the air shaft Install the valve assembly included in the ramp control upgrade kit in its place. And torque the assembly to 50 inch pounds or 5.7 Newton meters. Lubricate the inside of the stanchion and the air shaft itself with slick honey. Reinstall the upgraded air spring assembly into the spring side stanchion. Reinstall the spring retaining ring, ensuring that it fully seats into the retaining slot. Lubricate the wiper seals with slick honey. And reinstall the lowers. When reinstalling the lowers, be careful not to lose bath oil from them. If you have lost oil or you are due for a lower leg service, drain the lowers and inject or pour the appropriate type and amount of oil in the castings before seating the rods and tightening the bottom nuts. We generally recommend you add at least 10 cc's of oil to ensure the fork is sufficiently lubricated. Tighten the bottom nuts to 50 inch pounds or 5.7 Newton meters. Reinstall the adjustment knob and tighten it down using a two millimeter hex. Remove the dust cap from the upgrade cartridge to access the lock nut. Using an 11 millimeter socket, remove the lock nut and the ramp control knob in order to access the cassette tool interface. Lightly grease the O-ring on the ramp control cartridge and thread it into the top of the spring side stanchion using a cassette tool. Torque to 220 inch pounds or 24.8 Newton meters. 
Insert the ramp control knob into the top cap, ensuring that the hex is fully seated in the cap. Tighten the lock nut by hand while holding the ramp control knob and using an 11 millimeter socket. Your air spring now features independent positive and negative air chambers. Always remove all of the air from the negative chamber when adjusting spring pressure. Fill the positive first, then the negative. We recommend that you match your positive and negative pressures or run slightly higher pressure in your negative chamber. The latter will soften your initial stroke feel and improve small bump sensitivity. Do not set your negative pressure more than 10 PSI over what you've set your positive pressure to, at the risk of losing travel. As a suggested starting point for air spring setup on the Fox 36, we recommend setting the positive pressure to approximately 40% of body weight in pounds. In kilograms, we recommend setting the positive pressure at approximately 90% of body weight. Then fill the negative chamber to a value roughly 10% more than that, but not exceeding a 10 PSI difference, max.